Hi, my name is Rich Harrington and I want to show you the image that I created here. This is the image that I wanted and unfortunately this is the image that I got. So this is a very busy area inside of Hong Kong and unfortunately the park was closed at the time of year that I was there once we got to sunset time. So I had to shoot under less desirable lighting. So let me show you how I can quickly build this out in just a couple of minutes. To start, we'll reset the image here and go into the Essentials tab. We're using Luminar 4 and it works as both a plugin and a filter. And what I'm doing here is just balancing out the overall exposure with Accent AI and using AI Structure to add in a little bit of detail. And you see it improves the dynamic range and separation. But the lighting is completely wrong. So from the creative section, I'm going to go into sky replacement and audition different types of skies. And you see it immediately changes. What I was looking for was a nice dramatic sunset. So there are some built in options here. And as you'll notice, you can also swap these out for your own very quickly. These presets are just that preset collections that you can choose from but you notice there you do have the ability to load and use your own background that you choose. Once you've got this in place, it's easy to flip the sky so it better matches the angle as well as slightly defocus if need be. I suggest once it looks pretty good that you take advantage of blending the horizon for a gentle transition there. That looks more believable. And then you can use the Relight Scene option to start to pick up the colors and wrap it to the scene itself. Now it's easy to tweak the exposure and the contrast independently for the foreground, but I suggest jumping on back to AI Structure where you can really push this and with Accent AI to dial it in. Now that's looking pretty solid, but I'm going to come up here to the Adjustments layer and add one more adjustment layer and just tweak this a little bit more accent and a little more structure so that I get the type of dynamic range that I want. Now I'll switch on over and deal with my tools and I could take advantage of lens tools. What I need to do is select the original layer temporarily and now it's super easy to adjust things. So as I rotate this image not only do you see that the image itself rotates, but so does the sky. So once I got that oriented, the sky automatically recalculates and we could just punch in here a little bit. There we go. And that looks so much better. If I want, I can also tilt the image slightly and you see you can compensate for perspective issues that way to just refine the overall composition. That looks great. Let's go back into the adjustment layer there. Very solid. And you can take advantage of any other options. I like under Landscape Enhancer the ability to dehaze just a little bit and bring out the warmth. So you can see our before and our after. A very easy change, very quick. Let's back off the dehaze slightly and just blend that gently. And we'll do a little bit of softening there with negative structure, and I actually like that. That looks really good. Remember, this makes it super easy for you to dial in the overall look that you're going for. And as you continue to tweak, all of these adjustments are gonna roll together. So if you decide to, you can easily enhance the detail as you see fit and dial in the right overall change until you get a believable image. Everything rolls together quite nicely. And so if you want to continue to experiment, just choose the original layer there, like so, and I can keep refining, dialing it in until I get the perfect overall look. If I want to change, try out a new sunset, and it takes on that new aspect. And you see here, quick and simple, to experiment with the overall choices. I suggest you use that relight scene to get the right color match, and then you can tweak the position until it feels like it's in the right spot. And nice and simple to take an image from unattractive lighting to the type of lighting that you wish you had.